Would you buy a KVM for $69? Well, I know I would, but when I see something on Kickstarter, I'm always a little bit nervous. So full disclosure, this was sent to me. This is on Kickstarter. And I had actually said no, or actually more specifically, I just ignored all the emails they sent me asking me to review it. And this is common for Kickstarter campaigns to reach out to creators and say, hey, will you take a look at our product? And I just ignore a lot of them because... I don't have any faith that the product will actually become anything. And I think I might be wrong about this one. Now, granted, still disclosure, this is on Kickstarter. But after Jeff and Jeff did videos on it, and I said, huh, that little Jet KVM is pretty cool. So I went ahead and said yes to one of the emails and said, go ahead and send me one. And then I was playing with it the last few days and said, okay, now I'm even more impressed with how this works. And I don't want to sound like this is a glowing endorsement because it's still me being very skeptical, but it gives me hope that even if they don't produce it, that something like this will exist in the future. Even if it was a little bit more money, I think it might be worth it. So all opinions are my own. As I said, this was sent to me, but they're not getting any editorial in here or sponsorship going. It's just me mentioning something that I think is actually pretty cool. Now, this video is sponsored by Micro Center, so let's hear an ad from our sponsors and then we'll jump into this. <music> The Black Friday event has officially kicked off at Biker Center and they have a lot of great deals. Looking for a brand new Surface Pro? Get $400 off on the latest energy efficient Qualcomm powered Surface laptops. Their racing similar setups are wild and proved to be a bit more challenging than I expected because I crashed almost immediately, but it was fun. There are tons of savings to take advantage of from desktops, laptops, CPU bundles, GPU storage, Unify equipment, and more. You can find all these deals in the description down below or just head on over to your nearest Micro Center. We thank them for being a sponsor. Now, while small form factor and good build quality are nice to have, the most important thing, of course, is functionality. And this thing functions. This is the part that really got me is the software is much more polished than many of the other software KVMs I've used. The IP interface is not HTTPS. I will note that right away. Maybe there's a future where that's a feature, but as of right now, it's just HTTP. Easily lets you set the password, easily auto updates. So that was actually a nice, is plug it in, gets a network IP, uh, has the option to auto update itself. Of course, you can turn that off. It does have a cloud connector. I did not test that, but both of the Jeffs did. You'll see that in their video. And that's kind of cool. I don't think I want real hardware access attached to a cloud connector. I'll use my own VPN. Thank you very much. But neat that they offer it. Just not obligatory that you use it. But it's important. The next thing is it does work with virtual mounting of ISOs. I was able to reload a system and that is really one of the ideal situations where you have to get into the BIOS, want to be able to reload systems. Maybe you don't want to walk over and plug a USB stick in there. I know Ventoy is great, but this is kind of like Ventoy with its own storage because it'll let you pick from different ISOs that you upload and allow you to boot those media and install the system. And what really surprised me is just how low latency this is. That was something that stood out from some of the other ones I've tested. Now, a few important details I want to cover is they have the words open source on here, but it's not open source yet. Yes, there's a developer mode that's easy enough to check a box, turn on and throw your SSH key in to get into it and poke around, but they did not release the source code yet as of November 21st, 2024. They said this will be part of the launches, giving away the source code, having it on GitHub. And I like the concept though of having this extension port, the RG11 port they have on here. They have options to expand that, such as ATX power control, DC power control, and a few other ideas, including serial console and customization with temperature sensors or even mechanical buttons on it. Doesn't have any right now, but I like that that port's gonna be essentially open to us tinkerers who want to extend functionality with some of our own ideas. Now, there are several other reviews, including the Jeff reviews on their Kickstarter page. Also, a few more from a few other of my YouTube friends as well. So go ahead and check all those out uh, for a little bit more in-depth in them talking about it. Now, I'll summarize my feelings with the Jet KVM as cautiously optimistic. The optimism comes from the fact that I'm tangibly holding a thing that is well-built and does the thing it says it does with some pretty nice software on it. I'm always cautious though, because just because a couple creators on YouTube got to play with these doesn't always mean it's going to fully come to the production market, but I really hope it does. I'd like to see it in your hands, all of you that want one of these, not just some of us creators. As a matter of fact, I've decided myself to become among the backers on this. So it started out with, they sent me something for free. I'm backing it because I think this would be great to have around the office. I have a few employees that'll give these to because right away when they seen it at the office, they're like, hey, 
what is that? And that's kind of neat once they've seen what it could do. And I think all of you probably feel the same way that this is maybe has some niche use cases, but for $69, this is a great little handy thing to have in your toolkit, in your pocket, and in your backpack. So I am cautiously optimistic, but that's not a full endorsement other than, yes, I'm going to go and throw some of my money at it. So maybe you want to wait. That is completely a you decision, completely not financial advice here because, well, not everything on Kickstarter comes to reality. But what do you think? Let me know in the comments down below. Like and subscribe to see more content from this channel. Head over to my forums, forums.learnsystems.com, and you'll find links down below as to the videos I mentioned. And thank you.